I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Alexios. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Afors and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Afors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Ephors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Ephors? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. The Athenian forces in Viotia are no more. The land is yours. That's excellent news! I suppose you were too busy conquering territory to bring our champion to the Olympic Games. I brought him to Elise, but he had an accident at sea. So I entered the Games myself and won a wreath for Sparta. By Nike! Well done, champion. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? Archidamos. Sparta must be rid of you before it's too late. What are you talking about? How dare you stand in the presence of kings and make such accusations? Patience, Archidamos. Present your proof. <sighs> Archidamos is a member of the cult of Cosmos and a traitor to Sparta. The cult of what? Ridiculous! What proof could you possibly have? Your proof is right there. You know he's guilty. This isn't proof of anything. Ephos should only be called upon for serious matters. This lack of evidence is a waste of our time and disrespectful to the thrones of Sparta. The accuser should be made an example of for all other reckless fools. I taught him poorly. Punish me as his mother instead. We gave you every chance to prove yourself. Invited you back for a royal audience. And this is how you repay us? What say you, Archidamos? Alexios and Marini of Agiad. Your names are cursed. May the Cryptia hunt you, and the Elote scrape the meat from your bones! Agreed. A wise ruling. Too bad you don't have a mask or a black cloak to save you. You're there. Mother. So he is the god. I will. When you've dealt with him. With pleasure. King Pafsanias is part of the Cult of Cosmos. I'll have to kill him myself.
Where's Pausanias? Malaka. I should be careful. High security here. Something's going on. Ah! <laughs> 
I hope no one buries you. Alexios, you are condemned to be hunted! I was wrong to accuse you. It was Pausanias plaguing Sparta and its territories. What a disgrace! First you accuse me, and now Pausanias? Where is he? I watched him die. You murdered him? Yes. I found proof he was a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Undeniable proof. This letter was written and signed by Pausanias' own hand, outlining the progress of their plans in Sparta. What is this Cult of Cosmos? You've mentioned them over and over, as if I should know. They are a secret group with one goal. To seize power. They're using this war to strengthen their position. I find it difficult to think Papsineus was using Sparta this whole time. We've ruled together for years. I'll speak with the Air Force to confirm what you say. But if it's true, you deserve to be called a Spartan citizen once more. And of course, your family home is yours again. Thank you. One more thing. Yes? Should you decide to rule Sparta yourself, at least let me face you in battle. <laughs> I'm not made for ruling, my king. It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. He did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Rasidas, come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pylos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. Sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in her path. If Dimos is in Pylos, we have to stop her. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Cassandra is in Pylos. You have to bring her back, Alexios. Bring her back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll bring her back, no matter what. This is serious, Alexios. We may not get another chance. I understand. She must have seen the cultists for what they truly are by now. It doesn't matter what you have to do. Bring back your sister. You must. Nothing will stop me. I shouldn't keep Rasidas waiting. 
Be safe, Alexios.
And it is one you cannot win. If Rosidas dies, this blood is on your hands. He, what, and every one of your friends? Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Cassandra. But I will stop you. My name is Rimos!
Continue. One of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mata. Finally reunited. Only to lose each other again! Don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. 
I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. No one told you that I tried to save you? I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life, too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could. And I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. Listen, after you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Aigetos too. Pater, let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned too. Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here... in the gutter. I heard shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action today, girl. I am not your puppet! And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexios. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. I hope you said goodbye! <laughs> of human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. 
Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief, his equipment for Navas. Come, Varnavas. Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. 
Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that will help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Uh, it'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down! What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! You could just get another actor. Oh, no! Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Come on. Come on.
Off we go. They'll be on high alert here. This must be Thespis' house. Look like an actor? Unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. Tell me. What are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself. He's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Do something worthwhile, and join my crew. You're loyal, and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk and I need to get him home. What are you, his matter? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me Thespis, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Take this and get out of my sight. Do you think we're farmers that can be bought for beans? Take your money and stick it up your ass! We'll be seeing you, Mistios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. Eyes not feeling too good. the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. 
Wee! Giddy ups! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who are they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this? I'll mess that pretty face right up! No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat. Like mother, like kid. You need to die! Is not feeling too good. <sighs> he said, You're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he says. You so strong, Ekaterini. Wee! Giddy ups! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them. I became both. Told him Cleon will kill us. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh. Not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this? I'll mess that pretty face right up. No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat, 
Like mother, like kid. You need to die! Cavalonia was a good idea. Got to be careful not to get spotted. This shovel looks recently used. Muddy tracks probably came from someone in the garden. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Looks like someone dug here.
Socrates was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you are completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right! So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, 
I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. Come on. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No. Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform. But he'll be doing it without me this time. But... you're his muse? Commander Exenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you. Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Exenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. I've been hearing about this Commander Exenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. 
makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. Best stay out of sight. Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah
Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? 
Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Let's hope no one notices me here. Watch will be vigilant here. Tell me you have news of Thespis? He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Athenians' lives are too complicated. I would rather be a farmer than work in the theater. True, it's not for everyone. But it's a wonderful life. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. <laughs> oh, happy day for us and 
for our children if Cleon should perish. You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! Gee! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! Ah, ah, ooh, ee, oh, ee, ah, 